Hello and welcome everyone to the first exciting episode of the Super Carlin Gaming Pokemon X Nuzlocke Challenge. We're back! Oh my gosh, I've been so looking forward to this. I don't think a day has gone by since the last Nuzlocke ended where someone hasn't asked me when the next one is coming out and it has been a long journey getting here but we are ready we are ready let's go oh man so today what we're going to be doing is I have a fun special treat for you Luke is going to have chosen our first Pokemon so what I did was I went and bought these plushes we have Froki, Chespin, and Fennekin and I put each one under a box I revealed them all at the same time Luke did not know what was going on and uh whichever one he crawled to and chose that one is going to be our Pokemon so I'm really excited to show you that video later on they can go hang out over there Let's see. Hey, it's Professor Augustine Sycamore. Oh, hello. I mean, he's got really good hair. And a go-goat. This world is ours is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. Ah, so it is. Check it out. I got a, I got a Pokemon mug going right now. My 3DS is Pikachu themed. We are rocking. We are rocking. I'm in such a Pokemon mood. We live together with these Pokemon, lending our strength to one another to live in despair. Let's start with some quick questions. Are you a boy or a girl? You know, I, it, I don't suppose it matters, but if you looked like one of these two people, I feel like you should be able to tell. But here we go. What do you look like? I always have trouble with this because people tell me I have blonde hair, but I certainly don't look like this chap. So we're going to go this guy. There we go, the middle, man, and then he cuts back and he's like, oh, did you have trouble deciding your hair? I've got a wonderful hair. Okay, the other thing we're gonna be doing today is just sort of going over what is a Nuzlocke in case you don't know. We're gonna go over my specific set of rules in case you watch other people play Nuzlocke and you just wanna know what, how we're gonna do it. What What's the deal? So, a Nuzlocke is basically self-imposed hard mode for Pokemon. Like, really, you can't lose when you're playing Pokemon, right? Like, you can you can lose a battle, but you just get sent back to the Pokemon Center, you train a little more, you go back, you eventually win. Ah, très bien! What a fantastic name! Thank you. Thank you, Sycamore. Look at this guy and his fancy door, my goodness. So, uh, it's not like any settings you turn on I haven't augmented the game or anything. This is all self-imposed particular rules that we're going to be doing. Um, so let's just start with them. The number one thing that really sets a Nuzlocke play uh, apart from a regular playthrough of Pokemon is the is rule number one, which is if a Pokemon faints at any given point in battle, that Pokemon is considered dead and you have to release it right away Let's switch the microphone a little here um which makes the game a lot harder and it makes like it you get you find yourself really emotionally attached to some of these pokemon because it's like if they die like you you cannot depend on them anymore and you might be thinking wait can't you just go catch another one of those Pokemon? The answer is no, you cannot because of rule two. So the way this is gonna work is, oh, hello mirror. Just look at the mirror. Uh, rule two is you can only, for every new area you encounter, you can only catch the first Pokemon you run into on that route or city or town whatever it is and what that mean, let me just clarify what that means that doesn't mean like let's say we walk into route one and we run into a Pidgey does that mean we can only catch Pidgeys on that route no it means we can only catch that Pidgey that specific Pidgey so um, if for some reason we knock it out or it like whirlwinds us and we get blown away if we fail to catch, if we run out of pokeballs and we can't catch it too bad route one is a wash we cannot catch anything there anymore 
um, and that's and that's basically how it works. If it's if it's confusing, don't worry. We'll I'm sure we'll encounter lots of situations, but. Every time we get to a new route, we don't have to catch something right away. We could save it. We could come back later. Um, but that's how it is. You can only catch the first thing you run into. And the third rule is that you have to nickname every Pokemon you have. And this is one of my favorite parts of our Nuzlocke's because I nickname all of my Pokemon after you lovely people in the comments. So if you want to be nicknamed after a Pokemon, all you gotta do is leave some comments down below and maybe, and that's all you really, all you have to do to be in the running at all. I will tell you ahead of time, I've already chosen a name for our starter. I don't think it's like super fair to give someone the starter name. It's like such a, such a elevated thing, but every other Pokemon up for grabs, totally. Hi, my name's Serena, I'm your neighbor. Oh my gosh. You know what we're gonna need? We're going to need Okay, this is the first thing you guys can leave in the comments. We normally uh, nickname our rival something, normally a food, uh, so we don't have to call them Shauna and whatever this other girl just said her name was. We're gonna go get a Pokemon, let's hurry. So let me know what should the nicknames of those two be so that when I run into them, I can call them by their appropriate names. Here we go, we're gonna head up here. Route one, fantasy. There's no actual Pokemon on route one of this game, so nothing to worry about. No big deal whatsoever. Aquacord town. Hey Jonathan, this way, over here. Okay. Hey friends. Okay, so there are a few more little uh, rules that I'm gonna kinda go over before we go ahead and pick our Pokemon and uh, show you what Luke chose for us. So those are the those are the only three rules, and if you're like a, maybe a real purist, that's all you would have. Pokemon dies, you release it. Um, only catch the first thing you run into on any given route, and you must nickname all your Pokemon. I have a few extra little caveats, uh, clauses I like to do. The first one is called the duplicate clause. So the point of this rule is basically if, if the first thing we run into on any given route has a little Pokeball symbol onto it indicating that it's already in our Pokedex, that doesn't count towards our first catch on that route. So what can often happen on a Nuzlocke is that you you always catch the most common thing on a route because you can only catch the first thing. So you might run into like a Pidgey on route one and then a Pidgey on route two and then a Pidgey on route three and suddenly you've got three Pidgeys. And that's, to me, the point is to try to play the game with new Pokemon and have different experiences um, so I don't like that and I don't think it's as interesting, but the other, it's not impossible to have like two of the same Pokemon. Um, if for example, we caught a, a Pidgey on route one and then in like route 15, we run into a Pidgeotto and we didn't evolve that first Pidgey, that Pidgeotto would be fair game. And then, um, you know, conceivably we could go uh, into the box and get the other Pidgey and then there you go, we'd have two Pidgeys. But I don't think it's a problem. I'm not even sure if Pidgey's in this game. So not that it matters, it wouldn't be for anything. Uh, and my other thing, the other way you might end up with two of the same Pokemon is what I call the shiny clause, which is to say, if we run into a shiny Pokemon at any point, it's fair game. I don't care if it's the thousandth Pokemon we've run into on that route. We're not not trying to catch a shiny Pokemon, you know? <laughs> it's gonna be on the team, probably. And you wouldn't think I would uh, even need to worry about that, except that whilst playing the Nuzlocke's, we have had four shiny Pokemon on the teams before. We've had a Graveler, we have had a mighty Dustox, who you can see, I think right down here. Yeah, this is um, 
Siru, the dust ox. Uh, and we had the rarest of them all. We ran into a shiny mill tank. I can't even tell you what the odds are on that, but um, I think that patch of grass, there's a 1% chance to run into a mill tank. And I think running into a shiny is like one in 8,000 something. So, so that, that happened. Craziness. Anyway. That's those are the those are the basic rules. There's a few other little odds and ends we might come into uh, here and there, and I will need your help deciding certain things because X and Y introduces some different game mechanics. Um, oh, this is Trevor. Oh, oh, what happened? Oh goodness, sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna have to change my settings so that uh, the it doesn't go to sleep. Ah, oh, nice to meet ya. That's not gonna be his name. Not not his name. His. Uh, his voice. Oh, it's gonna be Australian. Yep. No, nope. and everyone's like, that's your Australian voice. <laughs> you know, it'd feel like we were a closer clue if we all call each other by nicknames. Uh, can I call you J Meister? You may not. It's Lil J. You what? Excuse me? Do I look Lil to you? I don't think so. Uh, ah, Big J. Mm hmm. You get it. Okay. I see. Lil J. J Meister, Big J, pick your, oh, hmm, hmm, I'm just gonna go Big J, that's fine. You want us to call you Big J? That's right, yeah. This is some, some tall, yeah. Okay, Big J fits you perfectly. Ah, oh, thanks people I just met a minute ago, you guys are so nice. I'm sure we're gonna be great friends, so I'll call you that too. Hey, can we see the new Pokemon now? I wanna meet my new partner soon. You don't even pick one of these, bro. Anyway, uh, I know, right? It's such a cool feeling when Trevs and I met up. Oh, they've already got one. Let's see. Let's see who's it gonna be. There are a lot more like rival encounters. Oh boy, here we go. So our options here, the grass type Pokemon Chespin, the fire type Pokemon Finnegan, or the water type Pokemon Poke Pokemon <laughs> Froakie. So historically what I've done is I have chosen my least favorite Pokemon. Um, I can tell you straight out of the gate, my favorite one is Chespin, so I am hoping that that's who Luke picks. I already know who he's gonna pick. Um, anyway, let's. I'm gonna let's just go. We're gonna the moment we're all waiting for, right? I'm gonna cut to the video, and we shall see who Luke chooses. Are you ready, bud? What's it gonna be? Who's it going for? Who's it gonna be? Oh, Fennekin! Yes, that is right. Luke has chosen for us the fire type Pokemon. Oh, wait! What is this? What? Hold on, go back to the tape. Oh my gosh, that's so exciting! That's your first Pokemon, bud. Oh, he started away. That was so fun. No. Oh, he went for the Froakie. It was a fake out. <gasps> there it is. All right. So here we go. Thank you, Luke. We have been given a Froakie. Oh, man. Here it is. Yes. Oh, whoo. boom. Man, I have to think. Okay, so let me go ahead and clarify here. If you're like a Team Fennekin all the way person and uh, you think, hey, he totally went to Fennekin first, let me just confirm for you that uh, definitely he was going for Froakie. Um, I've kept those three little plushes out for like the last week or so. That's the only one he plays with. He pretty much ignores Chespin altogether, and whenever he picks up Fennekin, he just throws it aside. <laughs> it's it's really funny. Um, so yeah, it's believe me, it's Froakie. It's Froakie. Um, I think that's probably the one everyone was rooting for. I think Froakie's probably the most popular starter other than Charmander, like, ever. So, um, anyway, that's who it is. I, tr I assure you. Um, would you like to give it an, and I would say this was surprising to me because uh, it, it, it felt 
right because of these three despite Froki's general popularity is my least favorite so nothing really changes <laughs> uh it did it did at one point it was fennekin but i actually just personally played through a nuzlocke this game like a year ago and i chose fennekin on that occasion as it does it changed my opinion of that pokemon so who knows i'm sure this particular playthrough will change our all of our opinions about Froki. okay we have a boy the last two starters i think we've had have been females so okay i thought we brainstormed around at the office and we came up with a pretty funny name should luke choose froki are you ready uh you if you've watched the channel for a long time you know that we have a running joke about the game animal crossing and that we always call it frogger and now we have a little frog so we someone suggested we call our froki um animal crossing but that's kind of a dumb name however if you've ever um played lacrosse or cross country for example you know that the uh the cross part of the word gets often subbed for an x so you'd have like lax for the cross or x or uh, XC for cross country. So what we're gonna go for is sort of Animal Crossing, but instead, X. There you go, X, no E, no E. I think just AX, boom, there it is. This is X, the Froakie. Let's do this. We go, we go swing the X. Reminds me of our, uh, of our Graveler, the mighty Axolot. Uh, yeah, there we go. So you've decided on the name Axe. I sure have. Boom, there it is. Oh, my partner's Fennekin. Yeah, we know what Luke thinks of Fennekin. He's offended by it. He throws it away. You can you can have Luke's trash. Okay. Nice to meet you, Chessman. I'm sorry. So we need names for Serena and Shauna. Um, they have to be food names. Uh, pardon me, but I have something from uh, the professor as well. I have, I have something that will help you understand Pokemon on a much deeper level. Nah. I like how the, just these kids give you all this stuff instead of the professor. I'm going to have to go meet him at some point. Do, 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 do. Here we go. I put it another way. It's important. That's like this guy's gimmick. His this This character gimmick is to put it another way. That's it. That's every time he talks to you, he's like, to put it another way. Also, he's trying to fill the Pokedex, so good for him, I guess. That's We're going to lose to him on that front, because we can't catch very many stuff. The old line up drives are way too serious. Uh, um, uh, Big J, please take this with you, too. It's a letter from the professor. He said you should give it to your mom. What? Am I passing notes between the professor and my mom? Has he got a thing for my mom? Oh, it's so awkward that he's using me to deliver mail. Oh my gosh. I guess Travis and I will go look for Pokemon. Let's go, Trebs. Yeah. Okay. All right. Here we go. In Kalos, kids are chosen to carry a Pokedex again. That's how it is everywhere. Sh Sh Serena? Yeah, that's you. All right. I gotta go talk to my mom, I guess. Which means we're going to have a battle. Big J, wait! <laughs> Maybe I should give her like a really deep voice. But Big J, wait! <laughs> I'm not against it. That sounds funny. You're going to be my opponent in the Pokemon Battle League debut! Whoa! Okay, little Fennekin, it's our first battle. Let's win with style! <laughs> you are changed by Pokemon Trader Shauna. Here we go. Mm -hmm. This is weird because you have a rival who the game obviously thinks you're supposed to be better than and a rival who, like, you have a rival who chose the one that's weak to you. Bubble! You really can't lose this at all, right? How dare you injure Mighty Axe? Go, Bubble! Ba -ba 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 yeah. It's super effective! Oh, I have to, there's another thing I actually have to change here rules-wise. Do, 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 do. Bubble! Ba -da -da -da. There we go. It's super effective. Do, 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 do. We did it. We grew our first level. Go, Axe! 
da, 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 da. Shauna. Yeah. You have been defeated. Hey, I wasn't done watching my cute little Fennekin yet. Whoa. All right. You gotta go deliver this piece of mail to mother. Let me fix up your Pokemon. Oh, thanks. This is, she's nice to have around, I think, in the little forest we're about to go into because you can just keep turning around and being like, heal everything. So we're gonna try and get as much training as we can done in there. Hey, we're running and we're running and we're running and we're, oh wait, where's home? Here, hey. Okay, mom, some guy I've never met gave me a note and now I'll be gone forever. Is that a Pokeball? You got your own lucky you. <laughs> Oh, you're a Pokemon trainer now, too. Congratulations! A letter? It's from somebody named Sycamore. Okay. A love letter? Yeah. Uh-huh. Probably. Wow, what lovely handwriting. Gosh. Laying it on thick, aren't they? Here we go. Oh. Where are you going, Mom? Mm-hmm. She gets one letter from a man with lovely handwriting. She's like, all right, out of the house forever. See ya. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I got to call this sycamore gentleman. All right. All right. You know, how, yes, I know how to use the town map. Uh, what do I know? Come on. I don't know this, but mm -hmm. here we go. Bye forever. Oh. Oh, big Rhyhorn. <laughs> Oh, and mom, hey. Haha, <laughs> what a card. I guess Rhyhorn just wanted to give you a big send off on your journey. Well, it's only since you were born, after all. Good luck, Jonathan. Go for broke. And don't worry, you'll have Pokemon by your side, so you'll be fine. You're fine. All right, if you say so, mom. All right, now I'll see you forever. Bye. Let's go. Journey. A journey awaits. Veneville Pathway. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually buy some Pokeballs. Yeah. Which I think you can do right here. Hey! Sell me stuff. Buy. Yeah. I would like to buy... Whoa. Whoa. Not... Not some... We're going to go for... Ten. Yes, that would that would be fine, thank you. Because then we also get the premiere ball. Yay, cool. No thanks, see ya. Alright, so I think you've all got a bit uh, oh oh sorry, I said I needed to change a set of rules. So let's go to options. The other thing we have to do is go to battle style. And this needs to be set to set. Basic oh what well, I don't know what that changed. Basically, what that means is when you're in a battle, if you knock out the opposing team's Pokemon, you will not be, it like, if it's on Switch, it'll say like, Trainer Shauna is about to send out Bunnelby. Would you like to change Pokemon? And it'll allow you to change Pokemon in that moment. If you put it on set, she'll just send out the Bunnelby and you'll have to change after the fact. This makes the game so much harder. So much harder. I cannot even tell you. This is a huge part of the game. Uh, let's see. So, other little things you might have questions about. We... Is this medicine? Can we get potions or something in here? Let's see. Never hurts to have potions. And I, I I'll go ahead and tell you uh, this little thing. Some people, when they play Nuzlocke, they say you cannot use potions at all. Or like in battle anyway. I disagree. Um, oh no, let's not spend all of our money. We'll just get a couple. Yeah, we'll have Shauna anyway to be able to heal us in the uh, forest. So, uh, so I'm fine with using uh, that stuff. And the only other little thing, in case you're wondering, so like what? How, how do we? Could we lose? Yes, if all of our Pokemon. All of them are knocked out. We would lose the whole thing. Oh, hey, what's up, dude? Hey, Pokemon trainer, if you set foot in tall grass, a wild Pokemon will pull out, but you'll be fine because your Pokemon partner will battle for you. Thanks. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, if everything on our team knocks out, we lose. Um, if we have Pokemon in the box that 
we could go get. Uh, we can continue the journey by refilling our lineup with Pokemon from the box. That that's okay. It's going to be hard because everything will be super under leveled and we'll have to grind forever. That'd be awful. But um, it is. That's okay. We don't lose. To that end. If we can have six Pokemon on our team, we have to have six Pokemon. Like we can't keep keep an ace in the hole in the box just in case. We can't be like, mm, we're gonna, well, I'm just gonna leave this here in case we lose, so I can continue. Like that's not allowed. So anyway, uh, I'll just give you. I'm gonna let's catch our first Pokemon, and then I think that's probably gonna be it for the episode. But this will give you an idea of how it works. So we're on route two right now. This is the grass. The first thing we run into, that's what we have to catch. Let's do it. What's it gonna be? Dude, dude. Our first Pokemon is, oh look, it's a Pidgey. What do you know? Pidgey is in this game. <laughs> it's always a Pidgey, isn't it? Uh, bubble? Let's do it. We could probably just throw the Pokeball at it and it would, that would be enough. The Pidgey used Tackle. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm not, I'm not that concerned. Not that concerned, really. Here we go. Uh, go back, Pokeball. Here we go. Doo-doo. Da-da-da-da-da-da-da. Bop, bop. Huh? 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 Gotcha! Pidgey was good! Alright, now we have to give him a nickname. <laughs> okay, so, uh, as I said, typically we give nicknames based on people in the comments, but there are no comments on this video yet. So, what I'm gonna do is go into my, uh, we're gonna go on to Patreon supporters and just sort of choose a name from there. Let's seriously, let's see, let's see. By the way, if you wanna support us on Patreon, patreon.com slash supercarlandgaming. Oh, you know what? Okay, here's the thing. I don't wanna use Pidgey and I really don't wanna waste one of you guys' names on Pidgey and I just remembered. There's like a tradition with the female Pidgeys we always tend to catch, and that is to name them after a Game of Thrones character. So we've had Sansa, and I think we had Arya as well. Um, let me just check a spelling. Oops. Oh, no, you know what we're going to name it? I got it. I got it. We're going to name you... Tarth. There you go, like Brienne of... Tarth. Hilarious. Now, that honestly, we're probably not going to use Tarth very much here, but there you go. So, make sure we leave some comments so we have some actual uh, names to choose from moving forward. Very excited about it. And uh, that is going to be where we end today's episode. Would you like to save your adventure? Yes. We have Axe and Tarth. Excellent. Who knows? Maybe Tarth will be amazing. You never know. You never know. Do I want to use a Pidgey? Not in particular, but you never know. Tarth had saved the game. All right. Well, there we go. The adventure is on. I'm so excited. This is like, oh, it's so fun to be back. I have got, oh, oh, this is great. I can't wait to share this journey for you guys. Um, let me know down in the comments. One, um, well, just who is your favorite starter from this region? Uh, we'd love to know. Are you happy with our starter? Um, what Pokemon do you hope to see on the team throughout the journey? I don't know. If you have any other comments or questions, leave them down there. Leave a like on this video. And until next time, bye. <laughs>